And to discuss the impact of this third indictment on the 2024 election, we welcome Johanna Masca, News Nation political contributor. Uh, thank you so much for being here. So, as you know, Johanna, a New York Times Siena poll has Trump and Biden tied, each at 43 percent among registered voters. Uh, for some, this may be a surprise, but a majority of Americans have already said they don't support either one running for re-election. Yeah. So how do these most recent events make an impact in your view? Oh, I, I think the American voters are frustrated, right? Like, they're in a mood to throw the bums out, and the bums are on the ticket. I mean, the likely scenario is you've got people who the other half of the country believe is a bum, because the way that the, the calendar is set up, Kelly, is that voters are going to start deciding in January, and the GOP has been changing their process of how they award delegates. And in California, just this last weekend, they actually made it so that if anyone gets more than 50 percent, they get the whole state's delegates. When you get those delegate-rich states early, and you will by Super Tuesday, California votes Super Tuesday, then this race could be over before the American people even see this go to trial. So, you know, unfortunately, I think there's a lot of people who are going to be frustrated with this news, rightfully so. There's a lot of people who are frustrated with what's going on with Hunter Biden, and they're just getting frustrated with the system. And so I think that's why you see some people going, is there an option for a third party? Yeah, absolutely. And we are taking a live look right now as uh, Trump's plane is taxing and preparing to depart for D.C. So, Johanna, reactions from several Republican presidential candidates have been mixed. Some trying to straddle the line of not offending Republican supporters, while others are going full on against the former president. Uh, candidate Chris Christie even has gone so far as to say some yeah. of his fellow rivals are auditioning for roles in Trump's next administration. Uh, so what, have you make, what do you make of all of this? Well, you, if you're going to win the Republican nomination, we ran, you know, I was part of the Obama campaign running against Hillary Clinton. And when we ran against her, we knew we were running against Hillary Clinton and no one else. And that is the case. If you're going to win against the, you know, front runner of the Republican Party, you need to go through Donald Trump. Um, those who are doing it stand a chance to get their message out. Unfortunately, you're seeing whether it's the donations or the enthusiasm, it's just not there yet for these candidates. But that's yet, right? We have a debate coming up at the end of August. We'll have a second debate coming up at the end of September. In fact, you'll have a lot of candidates now coming to California in September because they've got the Reagan Library debate. And so there's still a chance that this could shake out and maybe, you know, one party doesn't have a Trump or a Biden on the tick ticket. But the likelihood is, you know, because you have to get such a massive number, you got to have those fundraising numbers early because you need people to be organizing those states to get your voters to the polls because it's a math game as much as it is enthusiasm. Absolutely. You need some steam behind you, that's for sure. Uh, Johanna yeah. Masca, News Nation political contributor, thank you as always for your time. And we do. Of course, have great to join. Great to have you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.